Hello friends, welcome to A to Z industry. This video focus on important MCQs related to space infections. Cavernous space infection can occur due to spread of infection via hematogenous root, lymphatic root, tissue spaces, all of the above. Hematogenous root Content of sublingual spaces, lingual nerve, hypoglossal nerve, sublingual gland, all of the above. All of the above. Hilton's mother deals with biopsy removal, drainage of an abscess, decompression of a cyst, anesthetic method. Drainage of an abscess. Technique of doing incision and drainage of an abscess is known as Hilton's method. And the blade used for Hilton's method is number 11. Which of the following spaces affected in Ludwig's angina? Submandibular, sublingual, submental, all of the above. All of the above. All these spaces affected by Ludwig's angina. Which of the following is not a component of masticatory space? Deep temporal space, submandibular space, submasetric space, tergomandibular space. Submandibular space. It is not a component of masticatory space. Characteristic feature of masticatory space infection Pain, trismus, swelling, dysphagia. Trismus Trismus followed by lower third molar extraction after 4 weeks may be due to breakage of needle in tergomandibular space, submasetric space infection, hematom of TMJ, Root stem in socket. Submasetric space infection. Buccal spaces present between masseter and mylohyoid muscle, buccinator and masseter muscle, skin and buccinator muscle, buccinator and mylohyoid muscle. Buccinator and masseter muscle. Infection from maxillary first molar drains into submandibular space. Submental space, buccal space, infratemporal space. Buccal space. Infection from first molar drains into buccal space. Infection of lateral pharyngeal space is life threatening because they carry the risk of thrombosis of internal jugular vein, edema of larynx, erosion of internal carotid artery, all of the above. All of the above. Roof of tergomandibular space formed by ramus of mandible, tergomandibular raphae, lateral tergoid muscle, medial tergoid muscle. Lateral tergoid muscle. Let's see the boundaries of tergomandibular space. Laterally, ramus of mandible. Anteriorly, tergomandibular raphae. Superiorly, lateral tergoid muscle and medially lateral surface of medial tergoid muscle. Okay, it's all about the topic space infections. See you with a new video. Thank you.